What's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to easily integrate Google Maps into a web page in HTML. So let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is go to a web browser and then go to google.com forward slash maps and then type in any address you'd like. I just selected this one for example purposes and then once you enter your address what we're going to do is either click on share or go up to the menu here and then select share or embed however clicking on share will do the same thing so in this share menu what we're going to do is click on embed a map and right in here we can add a little bit of customization such as selecting the map size um, however we can do that later in our code editor uh, you can even select a custom size if you'd like but I'm just going to choose medium cool now I'm going to click on copy HTML or select and copy this HTML here now I'm going to go back into my code editor and in between the body two body tags I'm going to paste the code now this should work pretty well as is however we can add some customization later so we'll test it out save and locate the file open with or uh, open with to open in a browser of your choice or double click to open in the default browser. So as you can see the map view has been loaded um, in, in the size we selected into our uh, web page uh, with the address that we entered as well. So now what if I wanted to add um, some styling such as maybe um, adjust the size, uh, a border, maybe a nice uh, box shadow to give it some depth. We can do that by going back into our code editor and what I'm going to do is go scroll over here because this line of code is quite long I'm just going to go here before the width and click enter to position it underneath um, just so we can view it a little bit better it won't affect the way uh, the code runs at all so now we can edit the width and height first I'm just gonna set the width equal to 400 pixels and the height equal to an even 400 pixels as well cool so now as you can see the default style is the border is zero but what if we wanted to add a border we can do that by um, deleting the zero and after the colon um, we'll do a 10 pixel border we'll do and we'll do solid and let's do gray cool so we got our border now um, let's add a uh, nice box shadow to kind of give the map view some depth um, so we'll do that um, after the color close with a semicolon and then space and then we'll do um, box dash shadow and then we're gonna uh, define the horizontal offset of the shadow uh, we'll do 10 pixels and then the vertical offset another 10 pixels and then um, the blur radius so how how blurred we want the shadow to look I'll do um, let's do 50 pixels and the spread of the shadow so the um, the, the radius of the shadow um, so we do let's do 30 pixels 
and now we'll set it to a color and we'll do um, the number sign or the pound um, sign and then zero 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 so six zeros and then that'll just make a nice black box shadow and then we'll set the opacity to 50 awesome so uh, let's take a look at how, how it looks we'll save and then locate the file or you can just refresh the page that we were on either open the file or go back to the page refresh as you can see we got a nice um, border here and a nice shadow that really gives some depth um, and I, I really like how this looks I use it a lot in my projects um, so uh, we can actually do a little bit more customization just for the fun of it let's go back to uh, our code editor let's add a border radius um, to kind of make some rounded corners so we'll do border dash radius equals and we'll do uh, 25 percent we could even turn it into a circle um, by doing a uh, hundred percent um, so we can save and take a look refresh the page as you can see nice borders um, now I also wanted to mention um, the loading type we can specify um, how the browser should load the map view and you can either be set to uh, lazy or eager lazy um, kind of will be um, delayed loading um, and eager will load the um, the iframe that the map view is in immediately um, I like it set to lazy however uh, you can play around with it um, so cool now what if we wanted to make a fully rounded map view uh, we'll just change the border radius to a hundred percent save and then here we have a nice rounded map view floating map view um, so uh, I hope you guys got something out of this if you have any questions suggestions uh, constructive criticism or uh, suggestions for future videos feel free to leave a comment uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you later